Uh, okay. Yeah, so good evening everyone. Um, welcome to uh, this is week seven of um, the BCOAU Web2 Bootcamp. And those of us that are joining for the first time, like and this is the Web2, the Web2 class. So we have two two classes, Web2 and Web3. So this this one is for like the Web2 guys, people that are into front-end development, mostly HTML, CSS, JavaScript, right? So yeah, so for this week, um, we're going to be talking about um, responsive web design, right? So we're looking at responsive web design, and but in particular, I think our, our, our focus will, will be on CSS media query. So we're trying to understand CSS media query and how we can use it to create to make our websites responsive so yeah without further ado i'll just go on and present my screen um well, I'm trying to present my screen So I think, uh, <coughs> I believe you guys should be able to see my screen now. Can someone, can someone just quickly confirm that my screen is visible? All right, thank you very much. Yeah, so I'll just quickly go through my slides. Um, I don't I don't really have much much slide but we are going to be after at the end of this whole um the whole slide we are going to be building like a, a very simple like portfolio website right and then we'll talk about um responsive uh how, how to make it responsive. So yeah once again welcome to week seven responsive web design right so yeah I I I I made a note about like why, why, why responsive web design? Why, why do we need to make our website responsive? And um, as you all know, right, there are, there are different screen sizes, right? There are different um, media, um, there are different medias, uh, media devices, right? From the laptop to the desktop to tabs, mobile phone, and whatnot. Quite a whole lot of them. Different people are just doing their own thing, right? So um, it becomes like um, it becomes important that at least we we try and make our website look um, um, be responsive on on most devices as possible as we can, right? So yeah, I was saying like the main aim of responsive web design is to make our page look good and behave behave as expected across screens and media type, right? So. The way we achieve this is by using some CSS rules. So on to the next, uh, what a media query. So a media query is a CSS rule that allows for specific styling when the browser, right, when the browser or the device basically, right, when the browser or device conforms to a specified configuration. So the, 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 the the configuration there is is what we the developers right it is what we, we specify for that um for that particular rule and if if the browser that the user is using at that point in time right um if it does um conform to that specification um the, the css will, will basically apply so in a nutshell like that's that's really what we are we just set some rules and then um, if, if our browser or our, our client right, if, if it aligns with the rules that we set, then we, we, we have the CSS applied. So, um, yeah, 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 I'm recording, I'm recording, I'm recording, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, in this, uh, for this one, I I presented like a simple media query syntax, right? So for the most part, um, when we want to apply media query, we just put the ads media. I think that's the first thing, and then we specify the media type. 
right? So they are for this media type here. I think they they are about I think about three, maybe more. I'm not really sure, but I think um, the ones I know about like right now, I think they're about um, three of them, which is like the the screen, uh, the print, and um, shut down, shut down, shut down. I remember. But there are about three of them too. Sorry, and then after the media type, we then specify the the media feature rule, right? So the media feature will basically be like um, the the config exactly that we are trying to target. Okay, are we in landscape mode? Are we in portrait mode? Um, are we at certain width? Are we at certain height? Um, you know. Um, so if 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 the device um, aligns with that config, then the CSS inside the the, the media query selector is going to apply. So inside this inside this um, media query selector, you can basically use any CSS, any any CSS that is valid, right? Will also be valid inside this um, media query um, CSS um, group. So, for the most part, here yeah, I think that's that's that just like um, that's like um, uh, the 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 most important thing, right? To to know about media code. So, and um, so I said demo time. So um, the slide is not long. Um, I don't know. Um, I don't think. A lot of people find theory is interesting, so I think we'll just practically go straight to to VS Code, and I'm going to I'm going to demonstrate. We're going to do a simple demo, right? So I I I already um, have a, the structure of a simple website. This is like a portfolio page, right, for a user. And um, our goal here is to use media query to it, it, it's to make the site responsive, basically, right? So um, I think I was running this site before, so it, it should be live. And by the way, I'm using Live Server, so if you don't know what Live Server is, just in case, um, it's an extension that allows you to basically um, um, allow you to basically um, like reload, um, it, it basically speeds it, it speeds up your HTML workflow, right? So any change you make to to your HTML file, it basically reloads it automatically in your browser. So you don't have to refresh every time. So you can just look for the extension from VS Code Live Server. I think Live Server is new. Why do I have it installed? I think it's Live Live Server. Anyways, just yeah, I think it's and just look for Live Server and install it, right? So then you can you can open a new web page from Live Server. And you have it. You have your changes um, sync in real time. So I just go to local. I think it's local is five thousand. So we see our websites. Ah, unable to connect. Oh, sorry. I think it's five thousand five hundred. Let me see. Yeah. So this this is the website currently as it looks right. So nothing nothing really fancy. Right. Just the header. Um in short, let me let me walk you through the web page so you see exactly what so in, in, in the HTML here we you just have um you have the container, right? The container is like the parent div that wraps up everything. And yeah, 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 yeah. If what? Okay, what's the problem? Can you hear me? Hello. So yeah, I was about to go through the, the the index of HTML, the structure basically. It's really a simple way to just can see. Yeah.
Yeah, I think she was saying something about um, like. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh. How about how about now? Are you to hear me? All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. So yeah, so basically the website is it's really a simple portfolio page, right? Um, it's, it's not really large like that. So all we have basically is a container. Um, is the here yeah, that wraps up the whole website, and then we have three three main section. The first one is the header, right? Um, the second one is the the main. I just I just used to, I just used to give some class of main. Like, like, I don't know, prior up or something else. And then last the last part here is the footer, right? So this footer contains our um some of our our links to maybe socials, Instagram and whatnot. So yeah, currently this is how the website renders on the browser, right? So the whole point of this um of this class is responsive web design. So we are actually going to add some styling, make it responsive, and then we're going to add media query, right? So that um, it will look good, not just on desktop, but then on mobile, right? So um, I'm going to proceed with the CSS um, and come back to my VS Code. So I've I've already added the index, the CSS file here. Right, and I've already linked it. So this is a link to the style sheets here. Right, so this is the index process. So yeah, um, um, first thing we are going to do um, basically like like how how we normally write CSS, vanilla CSS, is to add a reset, right? Basically we're trying to do we just we just reset the the style of the browser. So we add reset well, margin zero padding zero and um box sizing for that box. So basically this is just like a CSS reset. It doesn't really do anything other than just like clear out all the margin and padding and and then whatnot. So next we are going to come to the body and set uh set the font size no the font family so to sans right so um nothing nothing really fancy there um let me see so yeah we'll start we'll start from the from the header right but then before that um let us set like the height of this container to be the height of the whole the entire screen. Right. So I'm doing that so we can section. So we can section container. So I'll go straight on the first. So for the height, it's going to be 100 vertical height. So 100 VH means like 100 percent of the vertical height of the screen, right? Or, or basically 100 percent. Um, the height should be the height of the entire screen, right? So with that, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm listening. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ah, I, I don't. I don't really think I can say which one is the best. I think it just depends on on what you want to do, right? If you set the height of this thing of this container to hundred pixel, to hundred percent, for example, it will probably still do the same thing. You understand? I think it, it, it sometimes it just depends on which CSS rule you are most comfortable with, which one you understand the most. But if you set the height of the container to 100%, it's probably 
it 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 will take up the height of the of the parent element, which is this body here, which is basically the 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 whole screen, right? But this is like the 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 um the root element, right? Where everything displays on the browser, right? So if you set this thing now to let's say 50 vh, if I if probably give you the same um output as setting to 50 percent, you get the point, right? So um but then for pixel 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 are more but but this is the thing um vh and percentage uh, when it comes to responsiveness those ones are more responsive because they are not static they are just um yeah when it comes to responsive design uh vh right the viewport the viewport the viewport height and percent right they are more responsive than the pixel because those um those units are not static right they are not static in the sense that um the way they were applied to the elements you set it on it, it, it will it will depend on what the measurement of the device is or what the measurement of 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 the um of the parent of that element is so basically if you say 100 pixel for example irrespective of what the parent of this container is or the device is if it's like the root element right it will be 100 pixel you understand it will not change but when you see 100 vertical heights or let's say 50 vertical heights right so if if the height is let's say um 1000 units for example 1000 units of let's say 1000 pixel right the height will be um 500 right so the value will, it will depend like the value is not like it's not like static so if i take it to another device where the height is let's say 500 right to now be 250 250 in that case you see so the same thing goes for the same thing goes for percentage the value is not is not fixed yes sir. so i think uh, when it comes to responsiveness they are more responsive than the pixel the pixel units yeah 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 exactly exactly um you can basically get the same um results right using percentage or any other um unit css and unit that is responsive so if you are more comfortable with, percent with percentage yeah you can i think you can go with that i think you can go with that yeah yeah so i'm going to I'm going to proceed. So now we we'll come down to the um, to the header here, yeah, right? So the header contains two 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 child, which is the title and the other div that contains the link. So what we want to do is, as you can see, they are all stacked up, right, on each other. We should we should, we should try and um, make them apart, right? To try and make them apart. And now um, from what you just said. Um, so what's your name? The guy that just um, spoke now. What's your name? I think Mike. Okay, yeah. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah. So um, yes, yeah, we are going to see that. Um, I'm going to use percentage now for this header, right? Because to me, it actually makes sense in this um, context. So anyway, let me just proceed. Um, so for the header, right? I'm going to set. Um, the height as a percentage of the container you see the height if i if i put the height up to here it will be a percentage of the container and i'm saying 10 percent so it should only occupy 10 percent height of the container and so you can see that i'm going to add border let's say one to zero solid um let's see blue I can see here that if you measure this side, say if there's a way we could measure it, you see that it is around 10% of the whole um, of the whole height of the container of the view of, of the container, which is 100% of the viewport height. You understand? So in this context, now it actually makes sense to use like percent. Probably I could have done. 
Um, okay, yeah, it actually makes sense to use percentage, yeah. right? So, anyways, uh, the main thing I want to do here is to add the display property of flex. I think we have talked about flex basically. So, flex is, um, like I said, it's, it's, it's a one dimensional, um, um, it, one dimensional approach to, to, to doing CSS layout, right? Unlike the grid that is two dimensional. But, anyways, um, flex can only lay out. Um, elements, items in one dimension that on the horizontal only, but um, I think we, we, we touched on flex. That was with five, four. that was with five, four, with four, I guess. I so, yeah, by adding this brief flex now, you see that um, they are now side to side. These guys are now side to side, but then we are not done. We need to justify, we need to justify content to. Um, in space between right and then um, to center them on the cross axis but by default flex um, the main axis for display flex is the horizontal axis although by the cross axis is the vertical axis right to center them on the cross axis we just put the center and you can see that everything is um let me, let me put my laptop right is going down sorry So everything is quite um, aligned a little bit. Um, so let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, so we can we can now go to um, we can now go to this title here, and you can just add um, make it a little bit bigger, right? So this is a div with a class of title. This one, right? That's where I put my name. So I'm trying to target it here. And um, I'm going to give it a font size. Um, let's see. Let's see. Three reports with. So, yeah. So this VW here basically means um, viewport width. It's under responsive units, right? So it gives the the the, the target elements right a bit um, um, in relation to to the width of the viewport basically. So this is actually another responsive um, unit, just like uh, the viewport height, something similar to that. But anyways, um, I think now we can we can go to our list. I'm going to add the font size. So let's see. I'll put this one as two, two viewport widths. Okay, not bad. And um, so I also want these guys to be, to be, um, to be beside each other. Right? They should not be on top of each other. So that means I'm going to. I'm basically going to look at the appearance. Which is this UL, the class of link, right? I'm going to make it a display of flex, basically. So, um, um, header dot links. I think it's links. Um, display flex, right? And then I'll add this type type here. This, yeah. Yeah, can hear you. On the chat. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So you can you can train your questions on the chat. Yeah. So Having said that, um, I think the next thing. Um, so let's see. Let's look at so far. So yeah, the the whole dot thing there yeah, is gone, right? But then this guy, that this guy, they are too close to each other. So another property you can add on the flex container is like the gap, right? So you can set the gap so that the items are spaced out. 
piano just like clunking clunking to each other right so yeah i think that should do for the header for the meantime so now we can come to this main section which is this div it's class main right so i'm trying to so this div this div contains two items right yeah, my battery is low I don't know why it's not charging. So it got you two moments. I can't. I don't know why my laptop is not charging. I honestly don't know. It's probably the current. Yeah, and the battery is quite low. But anyways, let me just use my. Hopefully, you should carry me for this class. So, yeah, as I was saying. Um, so, there's this um, class, this DBA, which. So I'm, I was supposed to add an image here, right? And this image is this portrait that I've already downloaded here. So the way I'm going to do that is to so let me see, let me see. So div uh, where is it? Div class portrait. So um, So I'm going to, I think it's under the main, main dot portrait, right, um, I'm going to add the background image here, right, and then URL to, let's see, dot slash portrait, object okay, And yeah, it's not actually showing. I think it's not showing because um, there's no width for that div. We need to keep that div the width so that the image can be visible. Um, let me see. Um, so, so basically, this is uh, this is the div I added the image, and it's a child of this uh, main. This div class of main, right? So. I can set the width to 50%. Right. Okay. It's still not showing. Interesting. Mm. Mm. Let me try and debug, debug CSS. Um, let me see, let me see. Um, okay. Let me see if um, okay. this is actually weird. It's supposed to show the image on that div or am i am i using the wrong selector hold on i can use the wrong selector let me copy it and paste it um yeah 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 sure sure Background size and position, right? Okay. Um, thank you. Background size, and that will be content, right? So background position. Um, background 
not really sure on why um, center something like this right well still doesn't come up for this is actually where it is supposed to come up it's supposed to show up there but hold on hold on um let me just let me go to the main and let me see let me um you know what i think i think it's probably not showing because we have, we've we've not We've not added height. We've not added height for this for the current element. I guess. So let me just add height. So we give yeah 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 right. I don't know my laptop is not charging. Yeah. No, yeah, like this, like this. In the CSS, that will be here, yeah. So where where am I applying the IMG? Sorry. At the front of this portrait, like this. Oh, oh, oh! No, no, no! Like, there's, there's no, there's no, there's no IMG element here, right? This is just like an empty div. So I'm attaching the image as a background to the div. So there's no um, IMG there. Yeah, exactly. So there'll be no need for that, right? So I was about to set the height of of this guy so since we gave you know we gave you guys remember we gave this header right the height of 10 percent i'm going to give this one 70 percent right which is the second child and this third child here footer i'm going to give it a height of 30 percent so for some very weird this my laptop is not charging And yeah, uh, let me let me add border. Ah, CSS. One pixel solid red. Let me add border to it. And let me see. Let me see if. Okay. Um. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, the you mean the part here? Yeah. yeah, there's no slash already. They don't slash already. Like I, if I'm adding two dots, that would be like I don't. I don't think no. I don't think that's going to work. It's not going to work. Sorry. But let me see. Let me check background. Um, background. It, it's. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, yeah, no say. Background color. Background color. Okay. Okay, let me come on that here. 
pela minha informação. It's not even showing. Like. Hold on, hold on. He said. This is bad. Let me just bring, let me see if. Oh. Okay, okay. I think I know, I think I know what's, what's up. Um, we probably need to add height to this deal. I think we probably need to add height. We only added this, we didn't add height. We uh, add height of 100%. So, yeah. Oh, oh my god. Anyways, yeah, that was, that was probably what I was missing. So, we added this to the deal, right? And we didn't, we didn't add height. I guess that was why. That was why it didn't, didn't work. But yeah. Anyways, um, such is such is such is CSS. It's not always perfect. Sometimes I don't know. We just we just not see these things coming. Don't make it fifty percent. It looks too big in my eyes. Well, I see it. Whatever. Anyways. So yeah, uh, moving on, moving on now. Um, I think the next thing, um, so, so these two guys should be beside each other, right? The div portrait and the, and this text here. So that means I'm going to add display of flex to the main, right? So yeah, and um, mm. we are probably going to need that. Okay, let me. Let me add justify content. Space. Space between. Didn't get into my bro. Anyways, um, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. Um, let's just move on to. Let's just move on to the footer, right? So I gave this footer height thirty percent. Um, and um, the images here are very big, right? These images here, like they are basically find the whole screen. So we're probably going to just reduce the size. I'm going to use another responsive property which is this um viewport which is uh so say um let's see with um them to be on the center right so i'm going to along the main axis so that will be justified content center and then along the cross axis align items um, center and so they can be they can be space in between them i can add this gap property and say 15 pixel right so something like this Mm. Not too bad, not too bad. But I think this text here uh, is very small, so I should probably work on that text. Um, let's see. Yeah, Hello? 
So guys, for some for some weird reason now my laptop is not charging and I can't really understand why it's not charging. Honestly. You said? Okay, anyways uh, honestly I don't know, it was actually charging the whole the whole time until now and I'm very I'm very surprised. I am very surprised. I don't know. My battery is quite low. There is light. And it's not charging. I've tried. He said. No, no, no. There is light. There is light. It's I don't. It's probably. It's probably. Okay. I think it's. I think it's charging now. Probably. Probably current is is not not steady. I guess. I guess it's going to be it's not stable. Um yeah, so but chat nine years. So yeah, um I was talking about this text here, that's why it's it's quite small, right? So I went to increase the size and um for that we just go to look at the element where the text is. Um this one is main last main button. So I just copy it. Come here. Um, dot main. Dot main button. Right. I'm going to set font size. So once again, I'll use um, viewport width, which is quite responsive. And um, for this ones, main intro one, two, and three. So I just copy one of them. Um, so main intro one, main intro, sorry, um, two, um, main intro, one, three, right, font size, font size, um, let's see, um, three, Viewport width. So yeah. So now we have we have our CSS and hold on, just something quick. For the header, I think I'll just add the padding so that um, um yeah. Okay. Oh, you know what? Let me. Let me add it here, so everything will be used to be this. Um, so it's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit away from the edge of the of the window. I think it's going to see. Okay, good enough. So yeah, so now we have our our our, our portfolio page, right? Um, so far so good. It's not looking really bad. Um, I, I, I think, but then um, you can see that um, if I come to, so by the way, these are um, the dev tools, right? Depending on your browser, you might need to hit F12 to come here. I'm using Firefox. If you are Chrome, you could actually the, um, the user interface might be different, but basically, just look for this responsive design. This icon that looks like. Like 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 a phone and you know, on a tablet, so I just click into it, right? And then I can just test things out. So so you can see that um right now it's not looking really bad, right? It's not looking really bad um until until we get to what I see, what I see. You know, what? first of all, let, let me move all this, all this, all this, all this, um, all these border things. So yeah. Um, so once again, this is what we have, right? So it's not really bad. But then, um, I think when we get to 
um, which size is this? I think around let's just see around 550 pixel, right? When we get to around 550 pixel, like width, you can see that like some of the some of the, the some of the uh, the items they begin to like distort, right? They begin to distort in the sense that um, even the the in the main in the main contents now this guy and this guy they get too close to each other and now they begin to misalign right one is going up like kind of it's it's actually it's actually just just like trying, trying to squeeze things into each other and even this guy here on the bottom well not bad but i feel like I feel like even the text is is very small, right? It's it's very small when we reduce the width of this screen, and even the text too at the top, like this our main um, our main title here is actually very small. But then this one and this one they are actually quite distorted, right? On on that smaller screen, so they are, they are quite like. Um, started here but anyways what we are going to do simply is to, is to try and use media query and see how we can we how we can realign this so um for this one what i'm going to do um let me just be specific what i'm going to do for this one right when the screen gets to let's say 550 i think i'm going to pick 550 pixel but then Sometimes when you are confused, like you don't really know which which width to set your breakpoints on, right? You can just basically look up. You can just check Google. You can you can Google search like let's say boost boost trap. Um, bootstrap screen. Let me say screen device sizes. So yeah, so look at some of the breakpoints um, for for Bootstrap. I think the different libraries will probably pick their own breakpoint. So for small screen is, I think it should be anything from zero to five seventy six pixel. For medium size screen. Anything from 576 to 768, I guess. For large, from 768 to 992, and then for extra large, like large monitors, big desktops, above 1200 pixel, right? So I think um, um, this this dimension they look they look quite 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 reasonable to me, right? But anyways, um, for our own case, I'm trying to to apply my like, because I think for this one, you can see that um, I, I I assume that we are okay with this device on the, on a large display. So our, our main focus here is to try and adjust the CSS right for when this device goes um, below 550 pixel. Which is what we would, what we would like would would refer to as a small a small device or mobile device, right? But then, like I said, you can always check check out all these dimensions on on you can Google search it if if you are quite confused about like different libraries probably have their own dimensions. If you are using let's say Tailwind, you probably have their own dimensions or, or any other CSS framework. But anyways, the whole goal is to, is to explain what what media tools are, right? And try and make sense of it. So, so we're down to our media query. Um, so the first thing I from is like this media, and by by default, right? By default, it applies to all all kinds of media, screen, print, and the other one. I, don't know, I can't remember. But anyways. 
if it, if, it, if you don't even put if you don't even put anything right by default it will be all but for our case we are concerned with with the screen there right and then let me see so for the for the for the for the for the selector here there is um if you're talking about screen right there's there's width there's width right there's height there's mean width um i think there should be mean height there's max and then there's max width as well right so sometimes it is confusing like what does it mean like when we say mean width or or max width right anyways um for simplicity we we'll just focus on the width for now right so when we say width for example okay someone is saying something someone saying something oh so when we say width for example right yeah go ahead please go ahead yeah yeah oh oh yeah 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 we are yeah sure sure it's it's like yeah we'll send i'll 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 add the link on the on the group chats yes it will be sent it will be sent exactly exactly so i'll just talk about width mean width and max width i'll just quickly explain what those what those three means right because i think the mean width and the max width can be a little bit confusing sometimes right so when we say width it means we are targeting a specific width right if 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 um the viewport right or the screen because i'm doing media screen so if the screen gets to this particular width it will apply the properties i will set here and let's just test that let's see background color should be um no i didn't mean to select this one aqua all right so now let's see um currently we at i think this is this should be the width and i think this one must be very good nice yeah so at 500 bits on the dots right this Style. This CSS rule is going to apply, which is basically um, changing the background color. And if I go above and beyond, it's not going to apply, right? So for the width, we are actually, we're actually targeting the exact width. So you probably agree that 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 that's not very useful. I mean, uh, I can't really think of a use case where we probably want to target one particular width exactly. Well. Maybe you can think of a use case, but honestly, I can't. So I don't, I don't think this this is very useful. Anyways, um, just for just for knowing. And now the main width. So what we want to talk about the main width. It means this is the minimum width beyond which the style is going to apply, right? So any width from 500 pixel, just like saying, um, if you, I believe. Um, I believe we have all seen this. We have all seen this symbol in maths, like greater than or equal to. I think that's like what this thing will mean, right? So we are saying that if the width is greater than or equal to 500 pixel, then this uh, media query is going to apply. And you see that we are 500 pixel on the dots, right? And it is uh, okay. Let me let me let me, let me change this. So it it is um. Let me see. Um, FF. Okay. So you see, we are 500 pixels on the dot, and it is basically applying that property. So if you go beyond 500 pixels, it should still be there. But once we go below 500 pixels, let's say 499, then it does not, it does not hold. Right. I hope that makes sense. And then for the max width is like the opposite of mean width so the max width will be anything um, below 
think below or equal 500 pieces here but then anything like from zero up to that amount right let me see 500 pieces here just to be sure oh sorry my bad so anything below 500 pieces here so from zero up to but not including 500 pixel i guess right so i have a piece okay oh so i i'm probably missing this up so me, me with a max with this um it will, it, it will still apply at that amount right but for max with basically point is for max with anything from that point below so that would be that would be less than or equal to right anything from 500 pixel below then it's going to apply then for me with to be from 500 pixel above right so if i go beyond 500 pixel above 500 pixel it's not going to apply but if i go below it anything below it right you see that it's still going to it's still going to work right i don't know any screen that is this small 50 pixel anyways i'm just playing yeah so yeah so so now what i guess what we want to do is um is use the max with five five yeah 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 is that yeah okay yeah yeah I think it depends on what you are using. Are you using max width or mean width or width? I think, yeah. So, so if you are using max width 500 pixel, it means anything from 500 pixel below, right? So anything less than 500 pixel, that is where your CSS will apply. That's for max width. So if if it if it goes beyond 500 pixel right that rule does not apply anymore i don't know if that makes sense yeah if you apply no anything if, if, you, if you use if you apply max with 500 can you hear me if you apply max with 500 yeah if you apply max 500 anything from 500 below is going to apply right unless you have another media query that is now more specific than that but normally if you apply max with 500 and this is like the only media queries um selector that you have anything below 500 pixel is going to apply but if you want to do it above it has to be mean width so when you say mean width 500 pixel that means anything above 500 pixel you need to apply so for the mean width now it is from that point above so you see that it is actually quite confusing because the, the, it, the, even from the semantics it's sounding as though max would be like let's say maximum above something like that but now it's actually like anything from you know anything from that amount below then from the mean it looks as though it's let's say like minimum like on the other side of of of, of the um uh, of the of the number but then it's actually from that minimum point right from that amount that you set it above so um if it's breaking that means it is above 500 pixel that's why your rule is probably not applying if it has gone beyond 500 pixel and you said max width then um that's not going to apply you need to use another media selector and by the way you can have as many media um selector you, you don't need to have one because there are different screen sizes right there are different screen sizes you can have as many yeah exactly you can have as many but then you have to be careful to okay you know what let us just add oh i think that they have, they have, they have, the light has gone the light has gone again anyways let's just add another um 
later than the SAPs and and max weeks. Uh, let me see. Um, let's see a max with 700 pixel, right? And let's see body. background color yeah. let me just see a different color right so like I said max should be anything from the number below right so if you have anything below 700 pixel but above 550 you see that this is actually smaller than this then this background color should apply but when we go below 500 pixel um, it will be this background color so let me just go so now let me try and explain this so this background color we apply at above 550 right but but below 700 you see so from between 550 to 700 you should expect to see this background color right now anything below that this one will be um, below basically from 550 below from 550 below right this should apply so can just test it um sorry can just test it and see that hopefully we are right hopefully we are right so we, we are we are we are below 550 that's why it's but if you go above 550 now you see um it changes to the other one and if you go if you go if you go beyond 700 right it will go back to the default which is white we are still at 700 look at the, the width but now we said max width 700 so that is 700 below but there's another max width here right that's why this one applies when we when we enter its own um range which is 500 below but above 700 there's no media query that that matches that right so we'll go above 700 now this we are 700 if i just do 701 it's it leaves or if I drag it here, yeah, 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 we did like, yeah. So I don't I don't quite get sorry please come again come again please come again the background color okay yeah okay 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 the whole, the whole, the whole width. Okay, 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 okay. If I get to, it will not cover the whole width, right? It will just cover half of that width. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I think I think I think I think my 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 best guess would probably be like you probably have another CSS selector that is doing something funny there. Honestly, that is overriding something. I guess there's probably another CSS selector you have in your CSS file that is overwriting something. It is very possible that that's the case. Although I'm not very sure, I'm not very sure, but I think it's very possible that that's the case because otherwise. It should you know what uh, if so, you know what so, so that so that we don't take yeah 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 so I was about to say um like since since I'm not very like sure on what exactly is can you hear me hello So can you can you guys the other guys on the call can you can you guys 
Can you guys hear me? Can someone else hear me, please? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, so I was saying, um, okay, I was, I was about to say, um, since I'm not very sure of exactly why your, your media query selector is not applying, right? You should probably, um, I don't know if, um, are you on the, on the WhatsApp group chat? Are you on the WhatsApp group chat? You should probably, like, drop, drop, all right, you should probably, maybe after the class, you probably drop your, um, maybe drop a link to the CSS, right? So I, you can have an in-depth look at it and better understand exactly what's going on. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah, because, all right, you're welcome, you're welcome. So, so yeah, that's, that's that about that. I was just trying to explain um, the whole um, idea behind me with Max Weeks and, and with, because for the most part, um, that's, that's what we are going to concern ourselves, ourselves with, right? So going back to basics, to basics. So yeah, I was about to say we are going to apply our media selector anything um, from 550 pixel below, right? That's what we consider as, or you know what? Let me go, go, let me go a little bit lower than that. Let me go anything from 4, 450 pixel. Probably, probably, probably not, not the best idea. But I mean, we are, we are just testing things out, right? Like in, in, in your project last class, I think you still, you still do, you still do what what works best for you, right? But the whole concept is like once you know what these guys are doing, right? You can always tweak, you can always tweak things to, to suit um, um, uh, whatever specification you are trying to work on. At, at that point in time, right? So there, there, there's no one way of doing things, right? There's not always one way of doing things. Yeah, there are always two things around. So yeah, so I was saying, um, we just move the background color for now. I think we can get done with that. So what what what, what I'm trying to achieve here is, um, I basically want this text, right, to be somewhere in the middle, and I want these guys to be stacked under each other okay so all right so yeah um when you're working on the project um what, what you most likely do for this case is to like let's say collapse this guy into, into an into what they call hamburger hamburger menu um first time i heard this word i was I didn't even know what it meant. It meant so I had to check it out. So I'm both I mean, I guess. It was actually a very funny word. And I realized it just it, it, okay, it just means it just means this thing, basically. Let me show at this. Oh, I don't want to waste time here. Anyways, yeah, something like this. It just means this thing, right? So when you click it, it now it, it overlays the content on on whatever page you're on. Basically. So yeah, that's by the way. So you basically want to collapse it into a, into a, a hamburger menu, but then we have to do some. I guess we have to do some CSS for that. But for now, we just we just um, we just get rid of it, right? We get rid of the list item, and we are only, only going to display this. But this should be in the center. So how do we achieve that? With our media selector, uh, our media query, of course, we already have selector out of the way, right? So we have to see exactly where the, um, the menu items are, which are the links, right? This is it, right? Be sure this is it, right? This is it. Um, we want to basically hide this guy, set the display to none, and put this guy in the center. So how do we go about that? I'm not saying that this, this, this does, not have a, does not have a class, but anyways, hopefully there is CSS, um, expert in the house so how do i select okay you know what for that how do i select the second element of uh, second child of a parent i want to select this div exactly does anyone have an idea but it does not have a class and I, I don't want to add a class to it 
but then I believe there's a way to select it with CSS. There's a way you can do from container. I want to select the second this element here. No, sorry, it's not container header. So from this header, right? I want to select the second child, which is this div here. Uh, the, the, the song know does does anyone know how I can I can go about that? I don't know, is there any CSS parts in the house that can help me? Please, my CSS is very rusty. My CSS skills is very rusty. Can someone help me with that? Or well, let me just research. Let me just research um, um CSS child. And child, okay. I mean, it's and child, and child experience, okay. Let me see. So, I say little dots and child. Oops, oh, it's one and child. So I would assume CSS comes from zero. So this will be zero. This will be one, right? So I'll say one here. And I'll say this clip to. So to make an element disappear, basically out of sight, just say this clip to none. I think that's how it works. That's how it works. Interesting. So what's happening? Everything is going out. <laughs> oh my god everything everything here is going out it shouldn't be nah 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 nah, nah. that's not what we want we are probably mixed things up um, but can someone help me with this nah we are not speaking we are not listening to anything we are not say one hold on let me, let me say nothing and child, everything is going off. Hmm. <laughs> Anyways, um, for the sake of time, I would have, I would have, I would have loved to figure this thing out. But let me just use, let me just use this class. Let me just use this class. So we're not waste too much time. But it would have been good if we were able to figure it out. Right. So yeah, this is exactly what I want to do. Um yeah. And so we want this text in the middle, right? So we have to we have to select the header, give it to display of flex, right? And then on the on the main as is the file content center. You can just align item on the first axis as well, just to you know center things here and up and down. So and that's this, right? And then we can come to the text itself, which is the div class title. Um I think this is this is what we did for the normal CSS, but now I mean, like outside the media query, that's how it's like. So let's let just, let just use the same thing. But now we can just use pixel. Since we are on the smaller screen, we can just say, let's say, this is 24 pixel. Something like this. It still looks small to me. I will say 32 pixel. Okay, we can go with this. We can go with this. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to make these guys on the. Make them under each each other, right? They shouldn't be side to side. So I'm going to look for that selector, which is the main. I think that's the main here. Um, from here, this is portrait, and this uh, these are the text. So I can just go to main. I can go to main. Um, this time around, I add display of flex, right? But by default, the flex direction is zero. So by the uh, we we'll change the default um, flex direction to column, right? And let's see. Now they're under each other. 
so we are going to um, align items which so now now the main axis is the y the, the vertical axis and the cross axis is the horizontal axis right so to 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 align the, the, the flex child right the the child of the flex container along the horizontal axis we use the align along the cross axis or the horizontal axis we use the align items property right it's align items to center and that should be in the middle right and then we can go to the text um let's see where's the text um i think it's main portrait no sorry not main portrait i think it's um it's main about yeah is it no sorry main main written i think it's this one so that's the text and then we can save the font size i save the font size to uh let me see let me just use the font size let's see 18 pixels here it's kind of small so i'll increase it a bit 22 pixels i guess okay um, let's translate. Okay, yeah. And then for the other ones, which are these ones? Um, then this one has like, you can just set the. So I'm not now. I'm using PC. I'm no longer using the responsive um, um, CSS image, right? So. Um, please yeah, let, let, let me bring it down. Let's see, 18 is there. And now, another thing we can do is this this picture in here, right? Um, we can increase the size a little bit. But on the smaller screen, it's looking very small. It's looking very small. So we can increase the width. <coughs> let me see. Let's see, it's going to start with Thirty-five to something like this, and um, um, let's see. Let's continue to the portrait, the image itself. So let's see. Um, I think for the image, we can set the width and the height to fifty percent. Fifty percent. I can do border radius fifty percent. looking too bad child but actually I don't know this let me reduce this guy okay I think we just go with this but anyways now we can see that um once we go beyond once we go beyond our screen size right we basically have these guys um looking like the way we set it right and actually even quite responsive because we use a lot of responsive CSS for the font size, you know, um, um, even for the for the for the for the vertical height, you know, and so like it's still quite responsive on bigger screen. But then 
um, we will now come down to the smaller screen, right? You basically, just um, you basically just just stack the items on top of each each other, right? You could actually have added more styles, make it look very make it look nicer than this. But then, um, I, I I want to assume that you. you that you guys actually get the whole point of of this stuff right i mean if if you don't like the way it's looking for example on this particular size you can see add media query right for this size right and then make some adjustments with it so um you can basically always adjust things until it suits like our taste the specification we are working on and um yeah I, I I think that's that just it for the most part. So, anyways, we have a side that that is at least at least planet things quite responsive, right? And then using media query, you can basically like you can basically like change the layout, you know, for for the web page. Um, we align things here and there, right? Um, on various um, screen size, you could go ahead and add more screen size, more media query. Like I said, you can have you can have you can have more than one media query. If you're using all this bootstrap, um, all these CSS frameworks, right? When you start adding those those um, CSS styles and the elements, there are a lot of media queries going on under the hood. A lot of media query, all the XS, XM, all the stuff you had on bootstrap, maybe I've, I've not really worked with it. CSS lot recently, but, but get the point. All the stuff that you add, right, on all those elements, maybe XM, XS, XM, maybe X extra large, small, I don't know, medium, something like that. For Bootstrap and Theory and all those selectors, so they, they use media query under the root to 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 rearrange on the layout, right, and the size of elements. Uh, but then it is good to know because sometimes um, this this selector might not the, the, most of them are, most of them are actually do a good job to be very honest most of them do do a fantastic job you probably not touched me that way but then you might just be on, on the legacy code base right that's not using any any of those those things and then you have to deal with with that way or maybe you just you just don't like you just want to tailor something to suit your your specific test right such a specific test because most times when you're working on projects there, there will always be room to add one or two customization one or two tweaks that let's say um, um it, it might just be an overkill to use a particular library or maybe the library does not does not do it exactly the way you want right so knowing the fundamentals of how these things work actually goes a long way uh, you never know so anyways yeah um I think with that, I I will call it a wrap, and then um, I'm going to stop recording now. Yeah, hopefully. Um, yeah. Hello. How long? How long have I been gone for? Hello. Hello? Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh my god, I didn't even know I was not online. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, how long how long have I been gone for? How long have I been gone for? Jesus Christ. Oh my god. But yeah, I was actually recording Shall hopefully everything I said was recorded. I didn't even know how I have I didn't know my network as I think I was Yeah, 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 yeah. I was I was basically just yeah yeah yeah. I was basically just talking about Like for real, I didn't know I didn't know I was disconnected. Like seriously, I didn't even know. I was just talking. I was, I was just talking and talking. Oh my god! 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh, I was not, I, I was not thinking to my phone, so, oh shit, I was not, but let me just, let me just quickly go, go through the, um, the last things I said, right, and then I'll call it a wrap, okay. Alright, yeah, so basically, um, what I was trying to say is, um, with this media query, basically, I, I, I don't know where I stopped exactly, but hopefully, if you, if you check the, 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 the video, um, uh, the record and hopefully everything everything will be, will be contained there right so but then i was just trying to say like with, with media query you can actually tailor things to, to, to suit your specific test right all these libraries that we use bootstrap css um bootstrap css um tailwind and the rest of them right they they give you this um like all this abstraction over things like this right under the hood they still apply media query in the end right for the most part in css in bootstrap they are probably going to be adding the stuff directly on the element like let's say they're adding some xs some xm you know longer use bootstrap actually so i can't really i can't really um i can't really know exactly how 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 it, how it works now or maybe tailwind css they are doing some you know you're adding some 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 so some properties on these elements here right so some of these frameworks basically use media query on that view to like to do all those styling and all those things for you but then it actually makes sense that you actually understand how media query works yourself because sometimes you just need to tailor some things to suit a specific need maybe you don't like the way slide is doing it or maybe you just feel like okay you just want to you know um you just want to twist the way you feel like it should be right or maybe you are doing you're working on a legacy project that is not using some fancy libraries out there and then you have to come down to um to the basics right and do things by yourself the, you, like you just never know basically right um um what what the situation might demand at that point in time right but then it's not really a bad idea that at least you actually know what is happening right why are you using the and you can adjust your screen size and then it's just automatically responsive without any effort on your own end so these things like this are practically how it is done under the road there's a lot there's a lot more to media query when it comes to responsive um, web design but yeah for the most part um media query you can basically adjust your website to look good on practically any any device right you just need to know your 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 selector property your marks with name with um you know how to set your breakpoints and then apply the right cases and then you are good for the most part so everything i just did here everything i did here basically got this site working like this working like this anything from from go to when we, when we go below 200 to zero the whole items of the website are stacked up against each other and then above that we basically partly have the website which is actually quite responsive on the big screen because we use a lot of uh, a lot of um responsive CSS properties like you know you know viewports with uh, viewport heights percentage and the rest of them right but then we just is now using that way to basically um make them stacked up on a smaller um, device we have added more CSS here to start things up you know make it look better but for the sake of time this is I think this this is probably um the limit right that that we can go for today and yeah with that I I, I basically called the classic rap. I think that's what I've been saying for the most part before the, the network went off. So yeah, um, that's that's that about that. Yeah. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen now. Okay. I think I'm not, I'm not even presenting. Oh, I was not. Oh. Anyways, it is recorded. It is recorded. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is recorded. It is recorded. So yeah.
sorry, no say. By the way, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still recording though. I'm still recording. So I think, yeah. So I don't know if. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, 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 sure, we can. Ah, every screen. <laughs>
sir. Sir, I are you trying to are you trying to start this? Are you trying to start are you trying to are you trying to start the image on top of each other? Because Yeah. Oh Okay. So like what? Well, I want to okay. So like, like how how is that how is that is it going is it going to be like like how is it supposed to be like? Oh. Oh oh, okay. I think I think your, your your screen is quite frozen, but I, I don't think. Um, yeah, I think so. I think so. Like, yeah. I don't know. I think I think could you. Is it the same thing for you? Like it's no share screen. Uh, I think his his screen was frozen for a while. So I don't know, I don't know. I don't know why he's acting like that, but oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I can I I, I could I could see your editor at your code editor at one point. I think you're on the you're on Chrome, right? Oh, if you don't scan it.
Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I think your your, your screen is frozen again. I like Pedro. Yeah, that what what Nancy just did. That did, did you see the the effect of what he just did? No, 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 not yet. Are they, are they, can you see? Can you see? You're showing a blank um, page, I guess. It's, 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 it's just blank on my end. Yeah. Maybe, maybe we should convert from Adik Peju. So. I think it's just blank on my end. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah.
No sir, no sir, I, no sir, I think the time is almost getting to, to 8 o'clock. I think the time is almost getting to 8 o'clock now. Yeah. Um. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. 